children i am suma from e commerce department gopal swami pu college mysore in today's session of second pu economics in continuation with the third lesson production and costs we are going to learn about the different types of short run cost curves and how are they formed and how are they going to intersect each other okay so the first one is <coughs> average cost curve average fixed cost curve the average fixed cost curve is the uh, uh, one which is in the rectangular hyperbola shape average fixed cost is the ratio of total fixed cost to the output produced so the average fixed cost is in the shape of rectangular hyperbola here the quantity of the output if it increases the average fixed cost decreases and when the output is zero <coughs> the average fixed cost is at its highest when the output is infinite average fixed cost is uh, one which moves towards zero so this is the average fixed cost curve so now let's now let's move towards the smc curve and the sac curves short run marginal cost curve and short run average cost curve all these can be asked to you for four marks two marks along with a uh, diagram if you have to explain they may ask it for you for four marks so now let's see at which point the smc curves intersect sac curve now let's see the smc curve the short run marginal cost curve cuts the sac curve at the minimum point of sac that is short run average cost because when the smc falls the sac also falls that is when the short run marginal cost falls the short run average cost also falls and when the smc rises the short run average cost also rises but here the change in smc is always greater than the change in sac that is change in smc is always greater than change in sac this you should keep in your mind so now let's move towards the another diagram where the smc curve is always expressed in the shape of u and why is it so lab labor and till uh, your examination <coughs> so the average you know there are seven uh, short run cost and three long run cost so with this we come to the end of this lesson and in our next session we are going to learn about the fourth lesson